has caught over 810 pound plus largemouth bass, holder of 13 worldwide patents, and inventor of the Weedless Trolling Motor Prop. Doug Hannon is the Bass Professor. One of the most interesting things about bass fishing is that there's so many elements common to so many other types of fishing as well. As a result, a learning experience for bass can be a learning experience for all of fishing. Perhaps that is why bass is such a popular game fish. Case in point, another perennial favorite, the redfish. While the differences are obvious, a close comparison shows there are many similarities between these two species. Because the bass does so many things so well, it's a master of many different forms of habitat, ranging from the densest weed cover and shallow water to the most barren open water expanses and everything in between. Therefore, it is hard to find any species of fish with which the largemouth bass does not share something in common. Such is the case with the red drum. Even though they get very large, they often feed in extra shallow water. So much so that their tails stick out of the water as they feed on bottom dwelling prey. Since their food is often hidden by sight on the bottom or in weed beds, they tend to hunt on the move. They often hunt in large schools using the advantage of numbers in order to locate their prey. From time to time, we see the same behavior in bass, especially when feeding on minnows hidden deep in submerged weed beds. The bass tend to group up and move, often diving into the weed beds in large numbers, wherein only one or two of the many bass get a chance to feed on each foray. So, as often as the case with bass, the more things seem different, the more they are the same. If you've enjoyed today's edition as much as I have being here for you, then don't forget, click on that button and send this to a friend. <laughs>